if we put this candle flame inside a fail, EHD extra high tensions, which is a very high voltage. Eh? Now, the positive ions eh, will be pulled towards the negative plate and the negative ions will be pulled towards the positive plate. Okay. And then we will see something like this. Eh? The positive ion move to the positive plate and negative ions move to, uh, sorry, positive ions to the negative and the negative ions to the positive plate. Okay, we will see something like this. Eh? Okay, the positive go to the negative plate and the negative go to the positive plate. Eh? Okay, but then you will find that the flame is no more symmetry. Okay, they will tend to go to the left hand side, eh? to the negative plate eh? compared to the right hand side okay why that is because uh, uh, the positive ions are much bigger than the negative ions it's much bigger negative ions uh, the negative charge is just uh, the electrons uh, small electrons uh, but the positive ion is the a particles uh, it's much bigger and if this uh, positive ions it move to the left it will collide with the, the other air molecules around here. Okay, it collides with the airs around here. And if it collide with the air around here, it will move the air to the left. Huh? So this will create something like a wind blow. Okay, something like a wind blow to blow this flame to the left. So it will bring more air molecules to the negative plate. Eh? And uh, that's why this flame it's not symmetry, but it tends to move towards the negative plate, okay, compared to the negative uh, charge. Okay, so that's why it's not symmetry. That's what happens if you put a candles, a candle flame inside an electric field. Okay.